What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about Dream Shake Batch. Try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense. Trust me, if you miss some parts, you might miss the whole point of the video. It's not going to be that long anyway. So now for the definition, post move fakes have a higher chance of stunning a defender. Also, shot attempts following a post move and a shot fake have an increased shot percentage. It is pretty much straightforward, so basically, there are two main uses of the badge. First one, and I think the most useful part of the badge, is this one here. Shots after pump fakes will be boosted. Shots like up and under and shots after a fake off drop steps will be boosted as well. And you actually don't need it to be a real up and under sequence or drop step sequence. A simple pump fake like this one can activate the badge as well. One more good thing about this part of the badge here is it activates together with lots of other badges. So meaning you can overkill some moves with this one. So now for the second use which is kinda intriguing part of the badge. I'll let you know later why it's kinda intriguing. Shots after stunning a defender with post fakes will be boosted. It can be a hook shot or it can be a fadeaway jumper. So these moves here will be boosted. The badge will give you more frequency of getting those animations. And if you take a hook shot or even a fadeaway after that, your shot will be boosted. As you can notice here, first activation is for the post fake, and second activation of Dream Shake is the shot boost. It has to be after a post fake, if it's just a normal hook without the fake, the shot won't be boosted. And by the way, there could be some other post moves that will use the badge, but these two here are the most common ones. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far, and I've been covering lots of good stuff recently, so it would be really awesome if you guys can check it out, and of course, subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. So now for the intriguing part, do these stun animations work on real players? I gave it a shot, I was actually controlling the other player as well, and it's not working. I even tried to make the other player move, with that one I was randomly moving the defender left and right, just so you know, maybe there should be a sense of misdirection before the badge activates, and after lots of tries, it still didn't work. I can't be 100% sure with this one because maybe I need to try like thousands of times before it bites, but I'm 99% sure that it won't. And even if it does, it just means that it is too rare because after lots of tries, it still didn't work. But with CPU, it works straight away. So now for the next part, let's talk more about that animation. So basically, the badge increases the chances of you getting that animation from your defender but it doesn't necessarily mean that it will unlock all the animations. In here, this animation here that triggered the badge can be done even without the badge. So meaning, as I mentioned earlier, it just increases the frequency of getting those animations. And now for the test, I'll be doing these sequences here in lots of repetitions and take note how many stun animations can we get. And by the way, I'm not counting the number of activations on this part of the screen here because for some reasons it's not that accurate I'm counting the actual animations. And now for the results, it is kinda linear, meaning there is no sweet spot. So I believe this graph here will apply to any other function of the badge, just like some other badges. So now for the recommendation, if you're doing those moves that activates the badge, the up and under types of moves or fakes, I think this badge can be really helpful, but of course badges like fast twitch will be more important. And in terms of those post fakes, I don't think you can root for those moves with this badge because based on my test, it doesn't really help versus real players unless you are playing versus CPU. So again, please let me know in the comment section what do you think and of course, any recommendation for a topic.